cap on. You see these big tire, full cage cars come out, you just cap on. What is going on, guys? It's Charles with TRC. I got my boy Tyler with me right What's here. What's going on, guys? Dodger, how's it going, man? Pretty good. How are you, brother? Dude, I am stoked to be here. Like, seeing this thing in person, I saw pictures of it. Tyler was showing me pictures on the drive down. And uh, I, I, I saw this thing popping a wheelie, and I didn't believe my eyes until we got here, and I saw the big old turbo sticking out of the hood. So Jag Week 2019 is where <laughs> we made go. it famous the first time. <laughs> it was by accident, too. Hell yeah, brother. So what can you tell me about the build, and uh, what exactly are we looking at here? A uh, 92 Toyota 4Runner swapped with a 2JZ Turbo 400. <laughs> still the stock Toyota 8 differential. It's built, but it's still the Toyota stuff. We rolled up. I had seen the picture of it popping a wheelie. I didn't know that it had a huge turbo sticking right out of the hood. <laughs> this is all new. This was a completely, this is the last rendition you'll see of this truck. Uh, after a race week, I decided to sw uh, switch up the old setup, which was basically 2JZ. Um, same bottom end. I have GE block. It's got rods, pistons, JE pistons, uh, H-beam rods, yada, 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 but mm -hmm. it wasn't making any, it was tired. One, uh, one, one JZ head, stock manifold, eBay turbo manifold. Okay, all bunch right. Bunch of junk on it. Okay. It made, it made, it did good. It made like 700 horsepower, but it was just tired. So yeah. I decided to do this one last time, give it the beans, everything cool <laughs> I could think of to just put it kind of over the top. So there's <laughs> never going to be a copycat, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, <laughs> dude. And I wanted to make some power, so that's what we did. That's crazy. You mind popping the hood for us and let us take a look at this beast of a motor? <laughs> I, I can't even imagine. And it looks like if you if you looked at it from the rear and you looked at it from the side, you might be like, ah, oh, that's just another 4Runner. And then you pop the hood and then you got this thing in here. <laughs> so what what's done to the motor? I see a whole bunch of billet parts on here. What, what are we looking at here? So I, I, I'm using the same uh, bottom end as before because it was pretty, actually pretty fresh. Okay. The motor bottom end maybe has 3,000-ish miles. I had this head, the, the 2JZ GTE uh, cylinder head. Steve Morris, engines, was kind enough to take on the job for me. Mm -hmm. He uh, ported, did every all, all the stuff with the heads, uh, Ferreira valves. It's got the uh, GSC billet cams in it, um, plasma man intake throttle body, the rail, Garrett turbo. This is a G42, so basically a of the 1450, so I guess you'd call it a Gen 3 turbo. Okay. okay. Um, everything else you see in here was built by me. So that's my own in-house header. Wow. Uh, my ice box, the catch can, the uh, Yeah, I saw air, this. So air this to water, air to water. Cooler. I made all of that stuff myself. Uh, there's a pump in here, right here, uh, Mazir oh, yeah. pump to move the water around. Okay, okay. Otherwise, everything else Dude, was... mad props. Yeah, I can't wait for the 2J sounds to come out of this thing. Can you start it up for <laughs> yeah. us? Oh, and then the exhaust is right over here. I gotta be right by the exhaust. This looks like a beast, dude. This so is crazy. I have crazy. no track time on this setup at all, so yeah. we're going to find out tomorrow night what it's going to do. Get it dialed in, you know what I mean? A yeah, lot definitely. Of Oh 
Oh my god, I don't think I've gotten into something this tall. <laughs> we got a haul tank dash in here, that yeah. looks so good. We got Tyler in front of us filming some rollers. I do my own tuning. Do you do your own tuning? I do it all. Wow, so like this guy, this guy knows his stuff, man. And it's honestly a pretty comfortable ride. Like, you guys actually get the maiden voyage. Oh really? Oh yeah. You haven't driven this on the new setup oh, yet? I went over on that, my little a little Mexico road back there and did some licks, but that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. That's dope, man. Still maintains factory sunroof. Yeah. Wow. All that shit still works right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's electric too? <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> I ride in, I don't do digs. And that that was I didn't quite get up into power. <laughs> this is an experience like none other. You're so high off the ground. <laughs> it's different. This is crazy, man. Crazy. The Turbo 400 paired with that 2JZ, I think that's that's the money combo right that's there. Even from the outside, that exhaust spitting out that passenger fender, dude, my ears <laughs> so loud, dude. That thing is insane. Yeah, I have a little bit of ringing in this it's here, like a little bit. stock from the rear i don't think you saw the rear there's a huge i don't shoot i don't on think it. i saw it <laughs> oh no oh. <laughs> yeah. the shoot is new i've never gone fast enough to use it the best the truck did before was 1019 at 134 in vegas okay and that was it that was max that was every i was throwing everything i could at it and you were making like 700 ish there. So, yeah 
technically it made 695 uh, so <laughs> didn't quite tickle 700 but it was it was right there what kind of power does it make now uh we made 975. <laughs> I stopped i was like it was too effortless i was like that's good we're just gonna leave it right there <laughs> i mean so you're right ready now to... if we put it on the dyno i guarantee because it's a good day it's the engine's cool it's not heat soaked it would crack a thousand i guarantee wow it. so we were 25 shy of a thousand I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and call it this thousand. might be one of the most rowdy features that we've shown <laughs> something like this dude and i love how it still has all the original badging the sr5 v6 this is how i got it it's too someone Remove the other stuff. <laughs> this is two. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone did that on purpose. I don't know. Love to see how this works. So it's like, is so, it like a quick release system? So my deal is drag week. We want to make everything converting from street to track as effortless. The transition as smooth and quick as possible. Because a week of doing this stuff, changing tire, it gets pretty right, exhausting. Right, right. And so my deal here is we're just going to put the... So it's yeah. like a replacement cable to keep the, yeah. the parachute and That's everything? That's just to keep it from flying okay. out. Okay. And this one stays with the truck. Okay. And then when this is all set up, there will be a pin through the lanyard and a pin through that. And then I'll just take this dude out. And it's just a whole unit. That's it. And put the trailer hitch on that. And then you can tow with Dragon Dude. Yeah, tow your boat after. <laughs> tow that trailer over there with all my junk in it. <laughs> and the tires are over there, those 33s. Oh my goodness. And you, you just go off roading. You can go do. Off, this is the true like do go anywhere, do anything. <laughs> yes, absolutely. This That's this wild. this should be a Toyota commercial. <laughs> just honestly, this and the rear window that rolls down, the staple of the Forerunners, yeah. still functional. I love that. Yeah, I love these trucks, dude. These are awesome. So these are my fuel cells. I'll just built right in. Okay, yeah, so you have right two. In. Yeah, I cut the uh, I cut the floor out and built some bracing for it. Okay. Uh, this one's for gasoline. Cause it's got a uh, whatever range, 15, mm -hmm. it's got 15 gallons. This one is for race gas. In okay. order to switch tunes, all I gotta do is go down underneath and you can see these levers here. This is for the uh, gasoline, which it's turned off and it's obviously on the race tune. That one is turned on. Wow. So we're sucking on race gas That's right now. That's crazy. But to switch it, all I gotta do is flip those levers, go in to put the pump gas tune back in it. Mm -hmm let the fuel convert over and we're back on pump gas that's crazy that's so dude. then i can drive from track to track don't have to worry about chasing e85 pumps mm -hmm. which always seems to be the drama on those events is finding good fuel so i learned took a couple bumps on the head two events in a row is like we're doing this this is that's, how we're gonna do it that's an amazing setup and then also you have the full cage in here full cage 850 cage that's i dude. built all of that stuff that's all mine really yeah mad props yeah. again dude I'll like this is wow yeah, all the welding everything i've done it all myself a couple more questions for you so what are you running for suspension is it is stock. it stock suspension Bone stock <laughs> believe it or not it goes down the track pretty straight people wow. are always like isn't that squirrely because it's so high you know it's lifted and stuff no it goes pretty straight we haven't been to 150 yet so we'll see how that goes <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a back seat there is. There is an entire so back seat. Totally right back there, <laughs> I don't know. There's a cage back there, buddy. Well, yeah, thank you for bringing us out. You it, thank you, Dodger. Dude, like this Anytime. is awesome. I, I would love to see this thing on race week. I can't wait until I see it on, on all, all over YouTube, all over uh, Soon Instagram. Enough. Guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Comment down below what you guys think about this thing. Make sure to say how annoying Charles okay, is. Okay, okay. You know what? <laughs> I, I get it. I'm annoying. I'm animated. Deal with it. Love you guys. We'll talk to you soon.